Hi, Shanna here from Certified RN. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about the GI system. Um, I am currently going to be teaching the GI portion of our PCCN and CCRN courses. And I realized that uh, I really needed a brush up on my anatomy. So I did go to a website called Shopee Prime and bought this 4D model uh, of a human anatomy and it's like um, all the different organs. I wanted to show you here. I got this little guy, which I think is pretty cool. Because what I noticed with the GI system, that the first thing that we need to know is actually like where the organs are. I don't think you necessarily need to know every specific piece, but I think it is important that we know the proximity of areas. What I notice is that, you know, when patients come in through the emergency department, lots of times when I look back through the um, admission notes, they'll come in with a complaint of pain. And if it's abdominal related, they'll usually say right upper quadrant, left lower quadrant. And then I realized like right off the top of my head, I didn't quickly think of like what organ is in that area and what could actually match uh, the pain that the patient was having. Of course, anything in your abdomen can cause deferred pain um, or if you are having peritonitis where there's just pain everywhere. But what I found is like when you're gonna go on to take the exam, there are questions that might be based off of like the majority of the time acute pain is caused in these areas by blank. So I thought what I would do with you guys today is take apart my new little toy here and let's see what's on the inside. All right, let's get going. Okay, so here's my little model here. Um, that's the stomach I pull out. We got a liver, uh, diaphragm, um, let's say that's a pancreas and part of the duodenum, I believe. Two lungs, kind of cool, they separate. Um, also the trachea and esophagus, the heart, and then the whole GI system. So if we go through this really quickly, I'm just gonna show you how um, all the pieces go back together and actually how they look. So I think this was kind of cool because there's two kidneys here. You see the ureters all the way down to the bladder. I think that's awesome. The little diaphragm squeezes up there, you push your liver up there, your pancreas and duodenum. I swear this piece gave me the most difficult time. Um, but then I got the small and large intestines in there and attempting to get the stomach back in that darn thing, but uh, it, it didn't work too well. So um, I almost wanted to chuck it at this point, but that pancreas was in my way. Anyways, I'm gonna show you that if you do it piece by piece, there are instructions on how to get this little man back together. So. Now we will go over what we actually see in this model. So starting at the top here, um, we have an esophagus and we have the trachea. So kind of cute little piece there. We're going to put that um, right against the chest wall eventually, but let me show you the cute little lungs here. So the lungs, um, here we see the, um, the veins and the arteries on the inside and they kind of move around, which is kind of cool. That will be the right lung. And then we have the left lung. This also moves here, so we can see all the veins and the arteries and the alveoli inside, so I think that's kind of cool. Plug that in. So then our beautiful little heart here, and at least we see the aorta. Um, we also see all the different chambers here. We see the back of the heart, and they actually even give us the coronary arteries. So, cute little piece. We're gonna put that in there too, but let me set that aside for right now. And then the diaphragm. Not sure if the diaphragm just looks like a bean or a peanut, but this is what we're calling the diaphragm. Yeah, little piece there. Next, then we are moving on to the liver. I think that looks like a pretty normal looking liver to me. Um, and then this, so this is the piece I kept getting confused with, like what the heck is that? So that's the pancreas and I guess like that's part of the duodenum and um, it looked like just like the kidneys, but it's supposed to go up in there. Next is the stomach. I think that looks like a little stomach there. Got some vessels on it, pretty cute. 
Not bad. And then we have the intestines. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be representing uh, how it all kind of links together. Uh, although I'm not quite really sure. And I see the small intestines, and I don't know why they have a blue line for the large intestine part, but maybe that's just to differentiate the difference between the small and the large, and why there's a little hole right there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that either. But anyways, still kind of cute, cool. It also comes with instructions, so you can figure out how to put the organs back in. Overall, I think it was like a, maybe a $40 purchase. It was worth it. I'm a tactile and visual learner, so anything that's going to help solidify um, my learning anatomy is going to help. So hopefully this review helped you too. Uh, please subscribe and watch our next video. Thanks.